This video is definitely as much for me as anybody else. And for anybody that doesn't know, I've had female pattern baldness for 24 years and I have worn wigs for 11 years. So this last year I got a second hair loss that is an inflammatory alopecia that is wiping out my temples and hairline and changing how I have to pretty much do everything. There comes a point, I think in all of our hair loss lives, where we make a change for ourselves that can help us live our life. And for the last decade of my me living with hair loss, I can honestly say I had made sufficient changes for hair loss to not impact the majority of my life. I did not miss out on life due to my hair loss. I made changes to make that happen. And no, my hair didn't recover and grow back. That did not happen. A lot of that was mental changes, wearing a wig, cutting my hair. We have to make changes sooner than later if we have progressive hair loss, I have to make a change with what is going on right now. This inflammatory alopecia is taking out all of my hair. I need to shave my head for my mental well-being. It's been very difficult for me. Many people have done it. I have not been able to do it. You don't need to necessarily do that. We have to make changes to not let hair loss rob us of living our life. I have to do this because it's bothering me how much this is affecting me. That's something I have to address and I'm working towards it daily, mentally. Please. Do not let hair loss rob you of living your life. Do whatever you need to do for yourself to get to a place where it may not be perfect, but you can live with it. That is possible. I know that is possible.